An interval in music is the space between two notes, and being able to identify different intervals by both sight and sound is a really helpful skill to have because it can help us with things like playing by ear or sight reading, and it gives us a shared language to be able to talk and think more deeply about music, which can help us to notice patterns, which can help with memory. Interval names have two parts to them, a descriptor and a number, and I'm going to start with numbers because that's a little bit easier to wrap your head around. So the number just refers to how many al musical alphabet letters are involved in that interval. So C to D is easy because C, D, that's two. So the interval is some kind of second. Um, another one would be C to F, that's C, D, E, F, so four, it's a fourth. Um, but it's a little trickier when you're thinking about, for example, C to B, because you have to remember that the musical alphabet keeps repeating. So we're not thinking about B to C, which would be a second, because B, C. We're actually thinking about C all the way through the alphabet and starting over and getting to B. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B. That's actually a seventh. So that's the number part. The descriptors we use are perfect, major, minor, diminished, and augmented, and they go along with specific intervals. So the perfect intervals are the most consonant ones, and that just refers to the ones that have the simplest mathematical ratio for the sound wave frequencies between the two notes. I'm not getting into that, but basically the perfect intervals are gonna be unisons, fourths, fifths, and octaves. And then that leaves the rest to be major or minor. So major or minor intervals are going to be your seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths. And diminished and augmented just refer to when any of these intervals are bigger or smaller than the standard. So a diminished interval is going to be any of those intervals that is smaller than the norm for that kind of interval. So it's going to be half a step smaller and an example is B to F sharp. That's a regular perfect fifth, but if we lower that F sharp to be an F, so it's B to F, that's going to be a diminished fifth. And that actually has another name, it's a tritone, and I'll make another video about that, but that's just a good example. An augmented interval is one that's half a step bigger than what the normal is for that. So if we're saying like, C to E is a major third. If I wanted to raise that E to be an E sharp, so C to E sharp, that's actually going to be an augmented third because it's half a step bigger than the major third. So that's where those come in. But I'm gonna make videos about each of these specific intervals and talk about the actual half steps involved with counting these, but you can at least do the number part, so get naming. 